Well, thousands of people have also joined student-led rallies in Thailand's capital, calling for political reform there. They're demanding a new election and an amended constitution. And as Wayne Hay reports from Bangkok, some Thais are touching a sensitive subject which calls for reform of the monarchy. In big numbers, they came to the centre of Bangkok to escalate their call for change. Protesters gathered around Democracy Monument, a symbol of what they say Thailand doesn't have. I can't take the fact that the government is so corrupt. It's been in power for far too long and things aren't getting any better. After weeks of peaceful protests led mainly by students, this was by far the largest and most diverse, attracting ties from different sectors of society, including other groups who have staged mass rallies in the past. I'm glad more people have come out today. The power of young people and students alone can't force change. We need everyone to work together. The protesters say Thailand's entire political system needs to change, including the monarchy. It's a dangerous and sensitive issue to take on because the royal family is protected by strict laws designed to prevent criticism. Demonstrators also want the government gone, and on Thursday, Thailand's Prime Minister, the army general who led the military coup in 2014, addressed the nation. He urged unity at a time when the economy is being hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic. Right now, we must focus on the economic survival of the tens of millions of people here. Let's get the economy going first, get that done by working together, then we can look at fixing the other issues collaboratively later. But the protesters say the pandemic is proving and highlighting one of their points, that Thailand is an economically unequal society and must change. Thais are well accustomed to political protests, but there is a sense that this is something different. A movement centered around a new generation, making unprecedented demands and wanting something profoundly different for Thailand. In recent weeks, the government has warned the protesters to be careful what they say and arrested three protest leaders. But if that was a tactic to try to scare them and bring an end to the movement, it hasn't worked. And judging by the size of this crowd, it may be having the opposite effect. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.